the A2000 is basically a non-LHR3060. It just can't get enough power to reach those same hash rates. But what if we could feed it more power? Stick around for two ways of getting more power and therefore more hash rate out of the A2000s. Warning, there are people pretending to be me in the comments and on social platforms. I'll never ask you to add me on WhatsApp or Telegram, and I'll never ask you to send me money, crypto, or your personal information. All right, so please be careful, use your common sense, and don't let any of these imposters fool you. All right, now back to the video. Hey, how's it going, tiny GPU heads? <laughs> Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here. And when talking about Ethereum mining, usually you can get about 40 mega hash out of these A2000s. But what is actually limiting this from getting more hash rate is that there's no power connector on this thing. Which means that we could actually get even better performance out of it if we could just find a way to get some more power in it. Because if we look at the specs of the A2000, it's actually using the same chip as the RTX 3060, which can easily get above 50 mega hash mining Ethereum. So in this video, we're gonna look at two different ways of getting more power into the A2000. And we're also going to look at the pros and cons of each of those ways, as well as if you should do these mods, or if you should rather spend that money on just buying more GPUs. So the first way to get more power into this thing is to basically steal power from the fan. And this mod was first discovered by another YouTuber called Dylan Thomas. And what I'll do is I'll link his video below. You should definitely go check it out if you'd want to do this mod yourself. Uh, he shows it way better than I ever could. So please go check that video out and subscribe to him. In short, how the mod works is you get a four pin extension cable, which you can get from Amazon at about $9, I think. Uh, I'll link one below, but you know, that'll be an affiliate link just so you keep that in mind. It will cost no extra, but it will give the channel a small commission if you buy it through there. And so then what you do is you basically open up your A2000, you unplug the GPU fan from the GPU and you plug that into the four pin extension cord that you then pull either directly to the motherboard or to a fan hub. And this frees up more power for the GPU as the fan is now pulling its power either from the motherboard or from the external fan hub. And doing this mod usually gives you around one and a half to two extra mega hash mining Ethereum. And as I said, if you want to do it, link below to Dylan Thomas's video. Now, the second thing that you can do is what's referred to as a shunt mod, which is basically soldering a small capacitor onto the PCB of your A2000, which allows it to pull more power from the PCI Express port. And doing this mod, you can now actually pull an extra 10 mega hash as the GPU pulls an extra 15 to 20 watts. I'm also going to do another video where I test one of these shunt modded A2000s on other coin algorithms and compare it to a non modded A2000. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But spoiler alert, they get a similar boost in hash rate on most if not all other coins. Now, if you think this sounds awesome, but you're not really keen on doing high precision soldering on your GPU, then you can actually pay the company that discovered this mod to do it for you. They're called JKG Ventures and they actually sent me one of their modded A2000s to test. And they've also given you guys a discount code if you want to get the mod done, where you get 20% off if you use code SEBS20. So if we have a look here on their website, you can see they offer the mod for both the 12 gigabyte A2000 as well as the 6 gigabyte A2000. And if we go in here, we can see that there are two options either to just do the mod or to do the mod and while they're working on your GPU anyway, they can also upgrade all of the thermal pads inside for much better cooling. And so to do just the mod, it's $60. However, with the 20% off code, SEBS20, it's actually only $48. Now keep in mind guys, that price is for them to do the mod on an A2000 that you already own and send into them. You're not buying a whole A2000 for $48, all right? Now, I actually spoke to the owner of the company and he told me that they do thorough testing both before and after they do the mod on your A2000 to make sure it is fully functional before they send it back to you. And there is just one thing that I need to mention about doing this mod, and that is since the mod makes the GPU pull more power than it's supposed to, from the PCIe connector, you cannot run it directly on a motherboard. And you need to make sure that you're using a high quality riser that can provide the extra amount of power safely. All right, so let's compare these two different mods and kind of look at the pros and cons of each one. So first of all, if we start with the fan mod here, the cost of it is about $9 because that is roughly what one of those fan extension cables cost. 
and you gain about 1.75 mega hash is what I put because it was kind of between one and a half to two as we saw in Dylan Thomas's video and basically that means you're paying about five dollars and 14 cents per mega hash gained which is pretty good and then if we have a look at the shunt mod you're paying $48 you're gaining about 10 mega hash or so and basically that of course comes to a price of $4.80 per mega hash so let's also have a look at the pros and cons for each of them so definitely with the fan mod the pro is that you can do it yourself quite easily and that it's reversible you can just you know revert your gpu back to how it was before by just unplugging the cable and plugging the fan back onto the pcb on the gpu now the pros of the shunt mod you get more hash rate obviously uh, it's also better value you know per mega hash lower cost per mega hash and the third pro there i think is that it's easy all you have to do is pack up your gpus send them away and then a few days later they come back and they have you know more hash rate so looking at the cons uh, i think for the fan mod you know obviously it's less hash rate and it's less value right more dollars per mega hash um, it also takes you know some time you have to sit down open the gpu and do all of that stuff and there also might be the extra cost of having to buy a fan hub so if you have multiple a2000s you can't plug all of those fans into your motherboard because your motherboard won't have that many extra fan headers so you're probably gonna have to buy a fan hub to plug all of your a2000 fans into so that is kind of an extra cost as well not that fan hubs are very expensive but it will add you know a few extra dollars per gpu perhaps now the cons for the shunt mod is obviously that it's permanent um at least somewhat permanent i guess you could technically go in and you know desolder it and revert it back to normal but for all intents and purposes it's kind of a permanent mod and i guess a different con is also that you can you need to use risers and they need to be good quality risers now I would of course recommend to use good risers no matter what because it's a safety concern right but if for some reason you're running 8000s on you know low quality risers right now I guess you would then also have to pay to get better risers. So let's talk about if you should do this mod or if you should rather pay money to buy more GPUs and get more hash rate that way instead. So in my mind doing either of these mods is basically a no-brainer in both cases you're getting more hash rate at about five dollars per mega hash which is an amazing price there are very few gpus out on the market that you can get for five dollars per mega hash and if you're able to find one like that it will definitely not be as efficient as the a2000 is and also i want to add that i especially think that this is a good idea if your rig is full so for example if you have a full rig of eight a2000s and you do the shunt mod that's an extra 80 mega hash for just 384 dollars and if you wanted to get another 80 mega hash from buying gpus you'd have to buy another two a2000s but you'd also have to get a whole other rig you know motherboard cpu ram risers power supplies and all that stuff is not only going to cost you more money but it's also going to pull more power. And if you wanna know more about why full rig efficiency is so important when it comes to profitability, I'll leave a link to a video about that up in the card there as well as in the description of the video. But yeah, please let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you're gonna do either of these mods. And if you've done either of these two mods, then please let me know how that went and what your experience was down in the comments. Now, if you found this video helpful, then please give it one of these. And if you really liked it, you can now join the channel to help support what I do here. It really does make a big difference and it means a lot to me, so thank you. But what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen. Because this video is over, you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on the next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Goodbye, bye, bye.